This podcast is a summary of the conversation between Tom Bilyeu and Sal Stefano, discussing the obesity crisis and diet in another episode of the Impact Theory podcast. In this episode, they discuss various key ideas related to obesity, health, and lifestyle, while also providing practical tips for taking small, realistic steps to achieve a healthy lifestyle and emphasizes the importance of a holistic approach to well-being. Here are 10 key takeaways from Tom Bilyeu and Sal Stefano. Key idea. Number one, understanding obesity as a choice. The concept of obesity as a choice has been a topic of debate and controversy in the health and wellness community for years. Many people argue that it's not as simple as just choosing to be obese, as genetics and other factors can play a role. However, Sal makes the argument that understanding obesity as a choice is essential to addressing the problem. By framing obesity as a choice, it shifts the focus to personal responsibility and empowerment. Rather than feeling like a victim to their genetics or circumstances, individuals can take ownership of their health and make intentional choices that lead to better outcomes. Sal lists various factors that contribute to obesity. These include diet, exercise, muscle mass, hormones, and lifestyle factors like sleep, stress, and relationships. Ultimately, Sal and Tom aim to encourage listeners to see obesity as something that they have control over and can take steps to improve. Making changes to diet, exercise, and lifestyle can be challenging, but it's possible with dedication and support. Key idea number two, importance of a healthy lifestyle and nurturing relationships. Our lifestyle and relationships can have a profound effect on our overall well-being, and neglecting them can lead to detrimental consequences. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle means adopting healthy habits, such as getting enough sleep, managing stress, and maintaining a balanced diet. These factors are often interconnected and poor sleep can lead to increased stress and poor eating habits. Love and relationships also play a significant role in our behavior and choices. Positive relationships can provide emotional support, motivation, and accountability, which can help us make healthier choices. Conversely, toxic relationships can lead to stress and emotional eating, making it challenging to break free from unhealthy patterns of behavior. It's not enough to focus solely on diet and exercise. We need to take a more holistic approach to achieve a healthy and fulfilling life. By nurturing our relationships and adopting healthy habits, we can make positive changes that will benefit our overall well-being. Key idea number three, emotional nature of humans. The concept of the emotional nature of humans highlights the importance of recognizing that individuals are not just rational decision-making machines, but rather complex beings influenced by their emotions and experiences. Diet, exercise, muscle mass, hormones, sleep, stress, and relationships all influence one another in a positive feedback loop. In the context of obesity, it's essential to recognize that it's not just a matter of willpower or self-discipline, but a complex interaction between various factors that impact an individual's emotional and physical health. Adopting a healthy lifestyle and cultivating positive relationships can play a crucial role in breaking the cycle of unhealthy patterns of behavior. This understanding of the emotional nature of humans can also help healthcare professionals and policymakers design effective interventions that take into account the interconnected nature of various factors that contribute to obesity and other health-related issues. Key idea number four, challenges for health and obesity. Obesity is not just a cosmetic problem, and it can lead to a range of health problems such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. Obesity is an obvious sign of poor health or dysfunction in the body, and it is essential to address the underlying issues to achieve lasting change. Obese individuals face several challenges when it comes to improving their health. For instance, they may have difficulty with mobility and exercise due to their weight, which can make it hard to get the necessary physical activity for good health. They may also face social stigma and discrimination, which can lead to low self-esteem and a lack of motivation to make healthy changes. Additionally, some individuals may have underlying medical conditions or genetic factors that contribute to their obesity, making it even harder to manage. However, it's important to note that obesity is not an insurmountable challenge. With the right tools and support, individuals can make meaningful changes to their health and well-being. Key idea number five, developing a healthy lifestyle. Sal Stefano suggests that people should aim for a healthy lifestyle and focus on taking small, realistic steps to achieve their goals. Discipline is a skill that can be developed over time, and it requires consistent effort and practice. Individuals can start by setting small goals and focusing on building the habit of following through with them every day. As they become more comfortable with this, they can gradually increase the difficulty of their goals and push themselves to achieve more significant milestones. By focusing on small, achievable steps, 
individuals can make sustainable changes in their behavior and ultimately improve their health and well-being. Key idea number six, importance of desire and consistency. Developing a healthy lifestyle requires a strong desire and consistency. Simply knowing what to do is not enough. One must be motivated enough to put in the effort and stay consistent with their actions. Desire is what fuels motivation, and without it, it's difficult to make lasting changes. Consistency is key to success. The importance of desire and consistency can be applied not just to developing a healthy lifestyle, but to achieving any goal in life. Without a strong desire, it's easy to give up when faced with obstacles or setbacks. Consistency is also crucial in achieving long-term success in any endeavor. It's important to keep taking small, consistent steps towards the goal, even when progress seems slow or non-existent. Key idea number seven, building a healthy relationship with exercise and diet. It is crucial to look at adding positive things rather than taking things away, as this can create a more sustainable and positive approach to achieving a healthy lifestyle. For example, instead of focusing on cutting out certain foods, it can be more beneficial to add healthy options to one's diet. Similarly, instead of feeling obligated to go to the gym, finding an enjoyable physical activity can make exercise more enjoyable and sustainable in the long term. It can be empowering to take control of one's health and make positive changes, leading to increased self-confidence and overall well-being. Building a healthy relationship with exercise and diet is a gradual process that requires patience, consistency, and self-awareness. It involves focusing on positive changes, finding enjoyable activities, and striving for balance in one's approach to health and well-being. Key idea number eight, elements of a healthy diet. Protein intake is vastly important and has a role in building and repairing tissues in the body. Sal and Tom explain how protein can help to curb cravings and reduce the overall calorie intake, which can be beneficial for weight loss. Even more important is avoiding processed foods, which are often high in unhealthy fats, added sugars, and preservatives. Whole foods should be a major part of one's diet, including fruits and vegetables, lean meats, and whole grains. Fiber can help to regulate blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and some types of cancer. You should be adding sources of fiber such as fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds to one's diet. Additionally, Sal emphasizes the importance of proper hydration, noting that water is essential for maintaining the body's metabolic processes and regulating body temperature. It is advised to be drinking water regularly throughout the day and avoiding sugary drinks, which can be high in calories and negatively impact one's health. Lastly, special attention to hormonal regulation in maintaining a healthy diet should be taken into consideration. Hormones such as insulin, ghrelin, and leptin play a crucial role in appetite regulation and metabolism. A healthy diet and regular exercise can help to regulate these hormones and maintain a healthy weight. Key idea number nine, negative effects of supplements. The negative effects of supplements can vary depending on the type of supplement and the individual's body. For example, some supplements may cause digestive issues or interfere with nutrient absorption, while others may have long-term effects on hormone production and overall health. Tom emphasizes the importance of doing thorough research and consulting with a healthcare professional before taking any supplements, as they can potentially do more harm than good. Key idea number 10, exercise as a tool for personal growth. Exercise can be a powerful tool for personal growth, helping individuals to build discipline, grit, and resilience. Sal Stefano goes on to explain that exercise can help people to push past their perceived limitations, build self-confidence, and learn to embrace discomfort and failure as part of the growth process. Through exercise, individuals can also learn to accept and appreciate their bodies, leading to a greater sense of self-acceptance and self-love. Furthermore, exercise can provide a sense of accomplishment and purpose, especially when working towards a specific goal or challenge. The discipline and focus required for exercise can also carry over into other areas of life, such as work, relationships, and personal goals. Thank you for listening to this podcast between Tom Bilyeu and Sal DiStefano. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. See you next time.